you are still watching Waves. So um, we're talking about the video of Ifunaya Grant, which um, went viral. I don't know if we have that video, um, so we can just watch it. If I keep quiet, it's going to be like an admission of guilt. So it's good for me to come out and actually clear my name. First and foremost, I would like to state that given the fact that I'm popular on social media, there are so many fake accounts of me, tons of them. And I'll show you a few. Look at this. Look at my Instagram. I searched my name. I can count up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, they are over 20, if I'm not even being mistaken. Like, all these things you see here. All of them are fake accounts of me on Instagram. Please just take a very good look. Likewise, on Twitter, um, you can see again a lot of fake pages. Twitter is only even worse because I've never been on the app. Like, I've never ever been on Twitter for one day. But there are tons of accounts. You can see all of these accounts you can see here are all fake pages with my name with my face and i think it's very good because ever since twitter started the policy of payment for verification they've lost the morals they no longer ask people for identification like proper identification before they verify them they just verify anyone that is willing to pay them secondly i'm not practicing if naya excel grant a nigerian controversial lawyer and social media personality better known online as baddest lawyer has stated that she does not currently practice law and has no plans to do so. She stated this in a video message shared via her TikTok page recently in reaction to the petition filed against her by the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA. In the video, she said, if I keep quiet, it's going to be like an admission of guilt. I am not a practicing lawyer. I am a lawyer by book, but not practicing. At least for now, I don't have any interest to practice law. Maybe someday in the future. This was a clear case of um, social media personality versus real life and professional life. So tonight we're asking, should your professional identity affect your online persona? Please let's say what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818384663. 0818384663. So let me ask the ladies at the table tonight. Hmm. Should your professional life affect your online persona? Huh. <laughs> so coming from an entertainment perspective, uh, um, which is not sports is not included, as an <laughs> entertainment, yeah. it it doesn't. Uh, uh. You know, except when you go overboard like uh, being like an alcoholic uh. or just putting yourself in a situation where you know you can't really work with someone or you're a nuisance on set or uh -huh. in whatever you do. Uh -huh. Yes, but in entertainment industry it isn't. As a matter of fact, whatever that you can do to get clout or to get engagement, go ahead and do it, right? But in a more corporate body, I would say that there is, there is that juncture where your real life and your professional life meets, you know? And for if Naya, I would, just like you said earlier, we don't have, like, that we haven't investigated the yeah. story completely yeah. to, like, know what is it that MBA says mm -hmm. or what is the condition for being called to bar mm -hmm. and if they have, like, a guiding constitution, yeah. right? Yeah. I haven't seen their constitution, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. So for me, I would say that um, in, in a professional field and as someone who identifies with, um, with, NBA and knowing how strict and rigid the law society is. I mean, like, this is white and black gang. Yeah. <laughs> white and black gang. Actually. <laughs> you know, but yeah, jokes apart, knowing that this is white and black gang, I think she should have been more guarded. Mm. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I would say. Right. Okay. Dami, let's hear your thoughts. Well, in my opinion, yeah, I'm, I think I'm just coming from the perspective of a much liberal person. In my regular life, I'm just a very mm -hmm. liberal person. I believe that Whatever you do should not affect your, um, however you choose to live your life should not affect the things that you actually need to get done. You know, you can decide mm -hmm. to do it anyhow, but when it's time to get things done, when it's time to be serious, you should identify that this is a time to actually be serious and get things done. Mm -hmm. And like you rightly mentioned, in some professions, you can actually get away with it. Yeah. You can get away with being anyhow, doing anyhow. But I also understand that in certain kinds of profession, you can't get away with a lot of things. And my first question was, is there a certain law in Nigeria 
for mm -hmm. lawyers that states maybe that states a direction as to how they can live their lives or what they cannot do and if there are these laws which i'm sure there are actually um whatever it is that um if naya did is it mm -hmm. part of it but then again when i i, I was trying to look for the root um story Mm -hmm. that even led to this whole petition in the very first instance. And I found out that it's not the fact that she was wearing a bikini that was the problem. I think what might have been the problem was the fact that she was actually holding marijuana. And, I mean, legally, that's, 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 that's wrong. Legal. So yeah. whether you are a lawyer or you're not a lawyer, so mm -hmm. I think that that's a ground for maybe an arrest or whatever it is that <clears throat> they choose to do. But in this case, someone who identifies as a lawyer is now being mm -hmm. seen holding, whether she's practicing or not. I mean, I can actually understand why they would have taken that decision. Mm -hmm. However, since she says she's not practicing, I don't see a problem. No, but Dami, she has, it's like, well, I do believe that she was called to bar. And yes. when you are officially called to bar, you take your pictures, you get your MBA, ID card, or association, whatever that identifies you yes. as part of whether you are practicing or not. Okay, you yeah. have agreed that... So are you saying well, that there are no lawyers in Nigeria specifically now that live their lives? No, I'm, like I'm saying, listen, you can live... Okay, for example, what's his name? Um, this golf guy. Uh, Tiger Woods, yeah. right? So when he was signed, mm -hmm. as this, nobody said you should he not have an have, affair, uh, exactly. right? Yeah. Now, if he had the, that affair and kept it on the ground, right. Nike and all the brands wouldn't yeah. have let go of him. Absolutely. But the problem is, I don't care what you're doing with your life, is your life. Mm -hmm. But just manage it such that it doesn't come online, right? Also, it's like a HR manager that, you know, Let's say something happens in the office and everybody laughs it over. Carry that same thing that happened in the office and put it online and see if that HR will not fire you. You mm. know, so I just think that is, there is that line. But then if it was cigarettes, would it have been different? I think it would have been cigarettes is legal. So yeah. that means the problem was the marijuana. I, I, sh I should think so. I mean, if the problem was the marijuana, mm -hmm. then, I mean, rightfully so. I don't think I would mm -hmm. have a problem with the entire decision that they've chosen to take. Yeah. But if it is... I mean, like I said, I'm coming from a place of a liberal person. So maybe that's why I'm just seeing it out. Because I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's my personal life I am now. not liberal. I am probably conservative. As long as, 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 as you are keeping the law. law. There's something called moral values. Right. In the no, I don't think we're addressing hold on, moral no, values. No, no, hold on, hold on. Now, take a look at this. Just look at this. Look at this. That's, that doesn't... Why? I would never want that person why? to represent me in the court. Why? I'm sorry, no. Why? I, I that, mean, you can that, do this you in know, your I, personal time. What I'm actually trying to, to differentiate do. is, are we talking of moral values or actual ethical um, um, ethical Dami, values? Will you, will, you know what? Can you, let, like, let's, let's analyze this okay. one after the other, right? Mm -hmm. Now, picture this. You are an employer, right? Mm-hmm. Someone, three people come to your office for an interview. And I've seen this happen, which I've even spoken to you about before. I've seen this happen, mm -hmm. right? Different people came in for an interview. And for whatever reason, I don't even know why the HR guy even decided to, you mm -hmm. know, go on Instagram to check out their Instagram pages. And unfortunately, they all had, like, their full names, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with their Instagram. Oh, yeah, and then next yeah. thing, he comes to me and says, Chinelo, come and see something. <laughs> and then he showed me their pages and they were not doing anything wrong or anything but mm -hmm. i mean seeing them in the office dressed all corporate you won't believe that they were the same people on instagram and i just smiled i laughed mm. about it because i'm like ah interesting that this person can be like this be this serious mm -hmm. yet also be like this on social media yeah. right now imagine that you're an employer then someone comes you are off, you, you're about to offer the person a job and then you go on the person's instagram page and then you see these kind of things. You mm. see the person posting certain kind of... I'm not talking about bikini. Everybody goes to the pool and anybody can take a bikini picture for mm -hmm. the love of Christ. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Everybody can decide to wear a crop top and a mini skirt like a rasta. That's nobody's business. It's how you choose to dress, I right? Did, yeah. But there are certain kinds of pictures. There's certain kinds of acts. That you don't want to bring into your office environment. But does it affect yes no? the? Does it affect what the person How is actually How can you delivering? say at that point in time if it can affect the person's productivity or not? 
Okay, so for me, this is this is how I look at it, right? She's not practicing law. But even in the future, if she's going to practice law, and let's say she's looking for the first client or the first case, if somebody assigned me to her and says, this is your lawyer. Yeah, because the internet be like, never forgets. Exactly. I'll be like, ah, this, uh, how sure am I that she's clean? How, uh, I, have, I, have, I have a ton of questions. So I so probably I, wouldn't even, except she goes on to maybe luckily get the first client or something and builds a track record mm. of being trustworthy mm, as a lawyer that's mm. when i would use her yeah. you know so you know what in this, even, in this okay, case no. i don't think because from what she said from the video we watched mm. right she said she's not practicing law yeah. maybe anytime soon actually or never is as a soon? matter of fact <laughs> you know what let's leave ifunaya grants no. see that's what i'm saying yeah. like, okay so if we're not going to go to ifunaya let's go to yeah. like all other professions exactly. it doesn't stop because for instance you can see a tech bro uh. a tech bro is looking all jamaya most of them are always looking i mean mm -hmm. no offense tech, no offense to tech bros Nadi. but they i mean they, look, do you get, they yeah. even look jamaya myself sometimes <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I, like, I like tech guys. They have money. Wow. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. Business. I mean, you know, sometimes when you even see them, you can misjudge them. Yeah. That's the place of profiling. Mm -hmm. You can actually misjudge them by just looking at them. Yeah. But by the time they open their mouth or they show you their skills and what they can do, uh -huh. in fact, that for the first few seconds you even forget how the person looks and focus on the skill and what the person has to bring to you the know, table there, mm -hmm. there is a typical example that i want to bring up now but then before i do that let's let's quickly take a short break and then when we come back we'll continue the conversation If you are just tuned in, we are discussing the topic, should your professional identity affect your online persona? Please let's say what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. And tonight is actually different. We want to hear from you, the caller. So our phone line is now open. You can actually call us on 0702-500-7749. I'll take the number again. 0702-500-7749. So I was saying before we went on the break, mm -hmm. let's look at Boston Tijani, for example. Mm -hmm. Or let's look at Solomon Bucci, for example. We know these are people that have very strong, controversial mm -hmm. social media personalities, yeah. right? Dami, are you saying that you don't, you've not sort of judged what these people can be like in real life based on their online personalities? I haven't. Okay, you said if you're I a thought, legal person. No, it's true. I haven't. If at all, I'll probably just... I've just probably drawn um, um, slight conclusions mm. on their thought process, but mm. never mm. about what they can do or what they cannot do in real life. Mm -hmm. It's just because I feel like when you are, whatever opinion you're sharing online, no matter mm -hmm. how you want to say, and what I share is not who I am or what I'm thinking, I mean, there's, there's a part of your thought process that has put whatever it is that you put online out. Yeah. Do you understand? So well, that, is only, that is the only way I see because, we, I mean, it, it's a different, it, it's, it would have been a different thing entirely if we were saying that um, this whole dress, the way you want to be addressed, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, Put yourself out there the way you like people to see you, mm -hmm. the way you like people to carry you, absolutely. Because if you are putting yourself out there as somebody that is smoking and mm -hmm. is doing, that's probably how you want people to carry you. <laughs> and I think another thing that plays out is the, the Nigerian society. Like, we are very, very big on, on morality. That's why I was asking that. Know, is it a moral... Are we doing a moral... A, what's it called? Are we basing it on moral both, standards? Both, both moral and ethical. Because, huh. see, there are, some, there are some unwritten rules that goes with... See, some so well, so well, yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. Even if no, I, I agree done. with you. I yeah. agree on that. Mm -hmm. I actually agree on that. But then again, maybe I think my own problem is the fact that this person just says she's not practicing and then... This while would I you come and like tell this. us that? Would you, no, that's why I said, you know what, let's even shift away from, from this Ifunaya's, um, mm. this, uh, um, what's it called now, you know? Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, this is just like the breakup for the conversation, mm -hmm. because it was what inspired the conversation. Mm -hmm. right? So let's even leave Ifunaya out of this now, and then let's just talk about... Let's Who talk are about you when no one is watching? You understand? So, as Who a you pastor, are, mm -hmm. or I've already said it, that in entertainment, it, it literally, if you like go naked, Go, you are, get as much engagement as you want is okay right but in a work environment there are certain things that you do that okay for instance you have a con you, are, you are chasing a contract or you're chasing one time sec to give you contract and something and then your staff is somewhere being let's say <laughs> let's say for instance i work with a procurement company mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. and i'm here 
talking about or criticizing the person that is the palm mm, sec mm, to give mm, us work. Contract. Do you understand? That's not going to tell good Which on is me. what happened to Boston Tijani, by the way. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That I, I think that I, you know, see me. I fear the internet so much. I don't mm -hmm. know why. And I think this happened from when I was very little. When, when we started hearing that story of Kim Kardashian sex tape. Mm -hmm. See, from that time, I'm always very conscious of whatever it is that goes online about me. Yeah. Because what has stuck in my head is that the internet never forgets. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to be in the government tomorrow. <laughs> so what about people that have one account? Hey, 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 one is different. Yeah, that's different if, now. If you, Are we seeing your face? Do we know your name? Yeah, but I think it, I, I think sometimes people have torn personality. What, what, is, what is what is this syndrome like when you've invested so much into something? Imposter and, syndrome. No, it's not. It's not imposter. When like you've invested. Uh, mm. I Explain what you're trying to say. So. Um, let's say you've invested into your parents want you to be a lawyer mm. and you've worked hard at being a lawyer, you've been called to bar, mm. and now you know you want to do something different. Maybe in Ifnaya's case, maybe venture Music. into modeling or mm. be mm. a porn star or mm -hmm. whatever it is you want to be. Yeah. So now you're thinking, I can't let go of this. I've invested 10 years or 12 years of my life into becoming this. So how about I find a way to handle this and mm. handle this together? I feel like maybe she's going through that term personality. There is something they call um, it. I'm going to uh, figure it out. Multiple personality disorder or something no, it's not, like it's that. It's not multiple. Multiple personality disorder is, is an illness, I think. <laughs> it's a mental condition. Yeah, it's, it's a mental that that one is not. No, but see, even if that's what it is, right? I, I like the fact that you even talked about having a burner account. See, there, there are several ways, right? People don't necessarily... I, why do you even feel the need to even show the world that part of you? <laughs> that is even the... Why do people need to even, first of all, know that part of you? No, let's leave someone, this conversation someone, as professional. Let's not go into moral. Because that's no, where I'm the argument being, I'm is not, going I'm to not start. Talking, I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not talking about it from a moral standpoint. <laughs> now. Okay, argument. you know what? Mm. Now, the banks have said that at every point when you go to open a bank account, for the, um, as a part of the KYC, they, want, they will check your Instagram handle or your social media handle. So you're supposed to, your registration form now will now carry but what's what the purpose your social of that? media handle. Hey, so that if something happens tomorrow, it's just a way for them to trace you. The way they ask for your phone number, mm. ask for your email address, and it might also be a way to contact social you. They want to follow you on also, social media. So here well. is here is this other angle that I feel like we should explore. You mm. know, I don't know if you're aware of this thing where everybody is clamoring for followership on 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 social media, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Instagram, mm -hmm. YouTube, because mm -hmm. they get paid. Yeah. Yeah. So how about we see it from the angle that this girl is doing this thing because, because she wants to grow maybe she account. doesn't have a job. Maybe she tried getting a job as a lawyer and it's not working, or maybe she got job as a clerk just to be carrying files up and down and it's not it's not working for her so she says okay you know what i can do whatever it takes and chase clouds and get engagement because the truth is we're discussing her here but if she's getting lots of engagement on tiktok and all what Which not she's right making now. money absolutely what I mean, was the on our her. head if That's Naya may I'm not saying. even know me but I'm discussing <laughs> about her do you understand you know it's just reality let's just you know so maybe this is just chasing clouds or creating entertainment for engagement online that will eventually translate into money and not money in like local currency we're talking like yeah. foreign currency yeah you know okay i think we have a caller um <laughs> essay essay from the u.s hello essay hi um hi y'all hi, hi essay hi. thanks for calling please go ahead hello yeah, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Hello? Hello, Essay. We can hear you. Please go ahead. She might have to call us. Okay, I think Essay. Essay, sorry about that. You might have to call us back. Sorry, Sandy. You were saying something. Yeah, I was just making the point that I, I, I think this lady is just trying to... Because literally, young people at this age were at a point... And given that... Um, I'm not sure her age... Uh, I'm not sure I read her age, but she looks like a Gen Z. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. So given that Gen Z is definitely that age where anything works, if it takes wearing a bikini to get the followership or doing skits, whatever that was, just go ahead and do it. They are liberals, whereas, you know, I'm more on the conservative side. So it makes sense why Dabi would, would want to... Actually, I think that's part of I think that is part of it, actually. Yeah. You are right, Sanzi. Chasing clouds. The, the, it's not even chasing clouds. They are the walk like they like to say, mm -hmm. the woke 
generation will definitely not see anything wrong with certain things. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, I don't think that it is not particularly a problem, right? It's just the same way. Okay, I think SA is back. Hi, SA. Good evening. Please go ahead. Yeah, um, it does matter. The um, online persona um, as against your professional identity, it does matter because um, in the West, they would actually um, hire an investigator before they hire you for a job. They would hire an investigator to look at you know, your uh, social um, media, your account, and see what you actually put out there. So it does matter. So it's not about morality in Nigeria. It actually does matter. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I see we're just talking about... Mm. Yeah. Okay. We're just talking mm. about um, how some organizations would actually go through mm -hmm. your, your social your media. Your HR. Right? <laughs> yeah. How do you go through your social media to find out what it is that you have been up to, the mm -hmm. kind of person that you are? And if it's not something they are particularly comfortable with, they will not hire you. And I'm sure nobody wants their future employer to see certain yeah. things on their Instagram or on their mm -hmm. Facebook or whatever social media uh, app that it might, yeah. it, might, it might be. And there's something about being responsible on the internet. And I don't know what respons mm -hmm. responsibility means. It's quite relative. And it means different things to us, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, I don't know. where. At what point do we actually draw the line? Maybe that's the question we should be asking now. What is too much? Too much is relative to too much is re too much is relative to your convictions your your religion your society your industry like in the US if you lived in Florida or New York or you could just walk around with almost nothing yeah. and as naked as you are everybody's walking face front but try that in Nigeria <laughs> women will tear out their wrappers right. cover yourself they don't care if you are giving them permission to touch you or not. Like, cover yourself. You see people beating you. <laughs> not really beating you, but, you know, yeah. like, all over your case. You know, so I think that there are certain... Okay, an instance is... Remember after Hilda Bassi won Guinness record? Yeah, yeah. Two days later, pictures of her surfaced online oh, really? of her yeah. previous birthday yeah. and the uh, nude outfit that she wore, you know. And so a lot of people were calling her, no, I was supporting you because I thought that you were praying what God cannot do, does not exist. Now you cannot do this. I will not support you again. But uh, her God is strong. <laughs> because at the end of the day, she still got like... It didn't... Because to Guinness, that does, if Guinness record was Nigeria, that would matter. Right? Because this Nigeria is a society driven by morals. We are very high on moral and ethics. Right. So at the end of the day, Guinness is not Nigeria. So it, it didn't it didn't disrupt anything. But Nigerians were already like shutting her out. But at the end of the day, the miracle of it is that you know, and Dosa still came for her. I you know, so she's just one of those people that my, the, the only thing that I'll probably agree with is that there are certain professions strictly mm -hmm. that you can't get in a lot of things. Yeah, I think that that's the only part that I would like to agree on. But other than that, should maybe your social media mm -hmm. personnel, I don't think it has anything to do with you, I mean, you being a professional at what you're actually doing. I don't mm. think it has anything to do with But yes, I understand that certain professions, you just, I mean, if you're a doctor, for instance, there are certain things you cannot do. Just like if you're a lawyer, there's certain things mm. you can't do. So I get that. I mean, and if you have sworn the oath or mm. whatever those, that thing they used to call it, if you have said, okay, this is the profession I want to go by, mm -hmm. I mean, you must be able to abide by all its mm. rules, basically, unless you are disassociating from that entire profession and everything that concerns it. Mm. But to say that how you are on social media is probably, I mean, maybe mm. it would somehow translate or the way people will see you. I, I mean, I, I don't believe in it because I feel like mm. it's straight up profiling. Yeah. So that's just the truth. I mean, just like you see someone that has a guy that has dreadlocks and probably mm. drives a fancy car and mm. is young. Is that why? Yeah, and you think he's a yahoo boy? Is that why we're doing answers? Mm. Do you understand? And this person might even be a well, tech bro. No, no, you have you have a point. This person that. might be a tech like, bro. I, I mean, Do you understand? I, I so I mean, what would you I say? What would you say then? Yeah. Of um, an organization I used to work with and how I do. In fact, I didn't even remember that my ED at the time used to view my WhatsApp status. Mm. And I remember it was a Friday, just like this. And me, I just left the office 
I did leave the office earlier. I left the office at five that we were supposed to leave the office. Mm -hmm. And I went home. And I was out that night. And I posted it on my WhatsApp status. And the next thing, on Monday, mm. we we're having management meeting. And the next thing he says is, that's why you left the office on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> because you are chasing after ephemeral things. And I was confused for a bit. Like That's not even his business to start with. Like, wait, 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 wait. What's this guy talking that's about? That's not his business. Why are you talking see? about me chasing after ephemeral things? I was very confused. Until he now went ahead to say, because you were going, you knew that you wanted to go out to a party. And I'm like, huh? I did not leave the office at three. I don't leave the I left the office. I'm like, hey. I'm the one that made the mistake. And then I blocked him from I blocked him on my Instagram. Mm. I blocked him on my WhatsApp. And from then, I just realized that, see, my boss is cannot be viewing my WhatsApp. Page. That's why many people don't allow people who even work hey, in their nah. offices, yeah. their colleagues. They don't we even allow them to view mm. their statuses at all because of things. Like, because what is the person's business? I left the office when I'm supposed to leave the office. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave any work undone. Mm -hmm. It did not reduce my productivity for the day. The day uh -huh. It did not reduce my professionalism by any chance. Yeah. But I went out because it's even a fright. In fact, regardless of what day it is. Actually, I went out after work. Yeah. And then you come to the office and now come and talk about me chasing after ephemeral things. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's your business. For me, I feel like we are getting to that place where the lines are being blurred, like the line of like work-life balance. I mean, you know? I mean, you do want to have fun, but how much fun is too, too much, much fun? fun? So I get into a place where I think institutions or companies or production houses should say, okay, this is where we draw our line. No? As in, spell it out in black and white. So, okay, so wait. it is written. So all of us will see. Let me ask you one question now, yeah. Sansi. You're yeah. working in a place. Mm -hmm. And then I say, where they draw the line is, you must not club. I mean, and no, you they like can't to club. I'll tell you that now because that's your personal life. Oh, now. My point, so, so, there's nothing wrong no, with No, but is this somebody just. No, no, no. tells you that that's where they draw the line. No, no, what no, we're no, for, for, for instance, ah. now. A, a, a HR or someone who comes judging you based on, or someone who, let's say, HR that is Christian now, because this is a scenario that plays out a lot, mm. and they don't believe in clubbing. Yeah. And now, a staff who is notorious for clubbing <laughs> almost every night and still comes to work and delivers, but then they're always clubbing. Do you understand? Ideally, if, the, if that Christian is not, doesn't sincerely have the Holy Spirit working inside of him, he might judge the, that person. Yeah, he, he gets super judgmental, and guess what? That guy falls off his list. And is that you right? Know? So, it, it, it's wrong. See? It's wrong on every level See? so my own is ah, we should yeah. draw a line this is my do not oh. don't wear skimpy clothes so oh. don't wear this one oh. don't carry that out so, so we will know because, what, what's yeah, what dreadlocks you? sorry <laughs> so we would know that this this is your constitution right and so the same thing with the nba if you're going to um sanction this lady or so tell us what exactly is the boundary we're at a place where you can only judge things based on the what boundary the, that was given. Because everything is blurred right now. In a land exactly. where there's no law, there's, there's no sin, no yeah. right? But then, you see, if we come back to the topic, right? Mm. Ask him, should your professional life affect your... Should your professional life affect your online persona? Huh? I, well, now, this is my personal view. Mm -hmm. I think that we should all... Use our church mind <laughs> to know what it is that we put out there on the internet mm -hmm. for several reasons. Yeah, nobody's saying when you go out, if you go out to have a couple of drinks and whatnot, you can't put that up. I mean, who would judge you for nightlife? If that's even wrong, nobody should judge you for having nightlife. I mean, it's your own way of creating your own work life balance, mm -hmm. and that is fine. But now, you posting videos where I mean, we are now doing certain kinds of things, and you know that your profession in mm -hmm. quotes because you signed up for it in a profession like <coughs> law for example mm -hmm. where you have gone to school for five years i'm sure that at some point in your five years you did something about the ethics of of, of law law school you, you were taught some of those things as well you yeah. know what the, you know what what's to be expected of you what you shouldn't do you know the kind of things you should not get into several um, professions have laws and um, ethics that are guiding guiding them right so I think that if you know that that is what it is that you have studied, you've signed up for it, that's what you put yourself in, you should know where to draw your boundaries to avoid certain kinds of problems so that you can also live, live your life the way that it is that you want to live your yeah. life. <laughs> if you're an, even if you're an... See, I don't even subscribe to the fact that because you're an entertainer. I saw on one, one of the comments on this um, Ifunaya's post where someone said, oh, even nurses abroad, they have only fans account, blah, 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 blah. No, it's 
cap. Um, do you get? That's cap. <laughs> I'm like, even if they have OnlyFans account, you know how only OnlyFans work. Not every and anybody can have access to your OnlyFans. When people subscribe right. for your OnlyFans in the first place. Mm -hmm. So if you as a human being, you are even you have your OnlyFans account safe, you know that okay, this is what these are the people that are able to view my whatever. These are the sub subscribers that I have. Nobody can just bump in there and you know see mm -hmm. whatever it is that you are posting on OnlyFans. In the people first can place. create fake accounts. And still see it. I think, honestly, when we put anything online, just know that anybody and everybody can and see it. Can just because if you block me, I can. It's cheap. I can create fifty different account, accounts. Find you and still can join in. <laughs> but you guys are still. So, you guys are still basing it based. I mean, you guys are still speaking based off morals. Maybe not even morals this time mm. around. You're speaking based off of um, professions that have specific things or rather guidelines. Mm. In this case, like two practical examples is law and the medicine. medicine. There are two mm -hmm. practical examples. I am saying that what about because we are saying professionalism now. We're not we're not staying on a particular mm -hmm. profession. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that for some other profession, should really again, let me not ask the question. Mm -hmm. Should their social life have anything to do with their professional? Like you said in your example, mm -hmm. this person might be going to club every day, might be doing any, but mm -hmm. every day the person gets to work, the person delivers. Mm -hmm. He does not, he or she does not leave any work undone, delivers mm -hmm. even beyond expectation. So I don't see a problem. Mm -hmm. I actually don't see. So now it should be whatever the person is putting on social. I mean, I understand that whatever it is that you're putting on social media, you should mm -hmm. be very conscious of it because the internet never forgets. So you should be sure that whatever it is you're putting on social media will be something that you're seeing maybe in 10 years' time and you're not utterly embarrassed. Thank you. You. Right, that's based on you. Look, the things that might embarrass me okay, will not embarrass you. you. Well, that's true. So you can, like, that's why okay. these things are very like life is not black and white. Mm. That's just the truth. What I think is too much might be moderate to you. Both moderation and too much are too. Are, they, are, they are entirely relative. Because what you think is moderate, me, I think that you're not even doing. You're probably. If I'm able to doing too much. We, now this is exactly the same reason why I said that, or rather, I'm suggesting that houses or companies should list out your rules. What is it that works for you? Hi, they start because listing out their is... rules, Sandy. There are some companies, they will list out some kind of rules that you'll be wondering. No, they... no, but ah. there is induction now. Like when I got <laughs> in, a, in business development, when I was in Abuja and I worked in business development, ah, they did induction for us, so ah, this one cannot happen. This one cannot, this one cannot, but they didn't go as but far as... But don't you think that they are going to be, like, I mean, don't you think that that is them putting maybe restrictions, on, I mean, to your personal life outside of work? No, but restrictions are, boundaries are healthy. It, it helps you to know the rules of engagement. Me, I like boundaries, though. I'm a very boundary straight, draw a line, don't cross here kind yeah, of person. Absolutely. You know, and it helps me stay focused and know where, like, everything, there's a budget, there's a section, there is a bag, there is a, a section in my brain because and in my life. Because, like, that person that you said, now, your former um, MD or ED, that you said came to the office mm -hmm. after, on Monday, and then came to come and be saying one. If you leave that kind of person to give you guidelines oh, at this no, company, he'll tell, he'll he will tell, tell you, you don't. Sleep I'm telling you the gospel. <laughs> so, what do you do in such situations? <laughs> you cannot walk anyway, there, carry your bag. I mean, you need to understand that people are actually adults. They are not children working with you. They are actual adults who have lives. I think what I we mean, have I, just established so is the fact that everything <laughs> is just is relative, right? But I, I think that the most important thing, you know, this is why we're going to talk about being. Um, responsible online. There's something that thing is called. I don't remember what it's called now. We actually need to learn to be responsible online. Be responsible online. Like, like you rightly said, because in the future we don't want to be embarrassed. But then I think if we go on, we're going. To, we're just going to keep going back and forth, going back and forth. But then before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Special Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. Remember to like, share, and comment. Also, invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, cool here it is again. I'm not a practicing lawyer. I am a lawyer by book, but not practicing. This is by Ifunaya Grant. See you on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen.